You're tuning into Black and White Sports on YouTube. The no holds barred truth on sports. The main event starts now. All right, Black and White Sports supporters, let's talk about the WNBA's media rights. Now, I did a story a while back. We found out that the WNBA was going to be landing a significantly larger media rights deal than the one they've got now. They're getting paid roughly $60 million bucks a year, which in the big scheme of things is peanuts when it comes to uh, any kind of like live sports branding, if you're worth anything. But the fact is, their ratings were not worth anything. All right. They were drawing two, three, and 400,000 viewership basketball games. All right. That does not lead to big media deals. But Caitlin Clark has arrived from the NC2A, the most prolific college player of all time. And she brought a significant fan base with her. And as we know, the ratings have, have significantly went up, and that's led to the $200 million WNBA media rights deal that was part of the NBA deal. There's going to be another $60 million coming down the pipeline from a, a secondary uh, packaging that they're going to end up selling as part of that. Uh, so it's going to end up being about $260 million. We did that video. But what's interesting is... The NBA was the driver of that bus. Now, I don't know if Adam Silver, I mean, who's been very vocal about how, how well Caitlin Clark has done for the league, I don't know if he stepped in and said, no, I can tell this television product is going to be worth more. All you got to do is look at this. This is the games. This is the ratings. And these are all Caitlin Clark games. The fever, 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 fever. You see it all the way down through here, right? Caitlin Clark is dri uh, dri driving that bus, all right? And this article was actually about the, the biggest all-star game rating of all time, right? Uh, so uh, I found this rather interesting because the WNBA originally got back a value that was not $200 million, all right, and you may be like, what are you talking about? Well, this, the Endeavor Group. Now, if that sounds familiar, that's the group that owns WWE and UFC. That group was hired as a media consultant. You see that, the recommendation of a media consulting team from Endeavor Group working in conjunction with the NBA. All right. So they originally came back and told the NBA that the WNBA was valued at just $125 million per year. That's pretty interesting. That's a lot less than $200 million. And evidently, because of the everything that's happened with Caitlin Clark and Angel Reese, eh, they've got Angel Reese in this article, but I don't know why Angel Reese is being brought up here. I mean, the only... The only games, ratings-wise, that she's involved with here are the ones that Caitlin Clark's involved with. That is literally her only involvement. And then, of course, the All-Star game, maybe. Uh, you know, but they have to... That's a thing. That's another thing. We were talking about the, the, the Angel Reese thing yesterday. That is media-driven. Now they're including her in every Caitlin Clark article there is. And she doesn't need to be there. Okay, so... Uh, when both Angel Reese and Caitlin Clark, you see that, when both declared for the WNBA draft. Anyway, there was an immediate impact on the league with the Indiana Fever, who had the number one pick being booked for 36 of their 40 regular season games on national television. Since then, do you see that? Indiana Fever. It doesn't say Chicago Sky there, does it? Guys, I mean, really. Since then, Reese and Clark have continued to fuel the rise in interest in the WNBA. Arenas around the U.S. are routinely sold out when Caitlin Clark and the Fever play on the road. While the pair's All-Star jersey sold out in minutes before the WNBA All-Star Team USA clash at the All-Star weekend, at the same time, the WNBA began negotiations for their new media rights deal, with the league eventually agreeing to a new deal which will run uh, from 2026 to 2036. According to CNBC, when NBC, Disney, slash ESPN, and Amazon were negotiating for the NBA media rights deal, the WNBA set 
uh, was set to receive $125 million per year, according to evaluation from the Endeavor Group. The NBA, citing Angel Reese and Caitlin Clark's popularity and the increased interest surrounding the W, believed that offer wasn't big enough, which resulted in the WNBA receiving $200 million per year as part of the new media rights deal. So that's, that's interesting that, that it was the NBA that actually took a step back and said, you're not about to pay us enough money. All right? We can see what's going on with the ratings. They're three and four times higher for Caitlin Clark games than, than, than any ratings we've ever had in 20, what was it, 23, 24 years of the biggest ratings. And then, of course, the WNBA All-Star Game. But I wonder if this is an indictment in part on the prior failures of the league as well. We all know this is a... The WNBA has long been a NBA-sponsored slash subsidized league, right? Uh, The WNBA has not ever made any money. They have not turned a profit. And they would not exist without the NBA financially funding them. All right? Now, Adam Silver was not happy that Caitlin Clark didn't make the Team Team USA uh, roster. He thought it was a big miss. Uh, He's very aware about how good of a player and obviously how big, from a brand standpoint, he can tell. All right, he's he's the commissioner of a league that's got Steph and LeBron and whatever, you know, all these superstars. He knows Caitlin Clark is a big damn deal. So it seems that when they say the NBA, well, they're talking about the, the owners, the commissioner, blah, 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 blah. The powers that be seem to push back and say, no, <laughs> that's not enough money. $125 million is not going to get this done. And it's because of Caitlin Clark. Now, this article threw Angel Reese in there, but the numbers are largely surrounding just Clark, okay? I mean, the Chicago Sky's attendance is still like 5,000, 6,000 less on average than the Indiana Fever. And the ratings, well, they're it's not close. I mean, it, it's not. It, she, they keep throwing her in there, but again, that's media-driven. They feel like now they've got... They have to put Angel Reese's name in every time they say Caitlin Clark. Uh, it just doesn't compute. Uh, the, the statistics don't back that up. All right. So, regardless, it seems the NBA knew Caitlin Clark was going to greatly help the league, and they came back after Endeavor gave them a $125 million projected value and said, no, it, we're going to have to need $200 million bucks. And I guess they got it, right? And so and and now you're hearing they're gonna they're gonna add four more games. Well, that's four more Caitlin Clark rated games they ha- advertisers can get involved with that to be honest with you, it's been a while since I've seen too many games where, you know, it's been less than a you know, one point five million in a game that she's played in, you know. Or something like that. So, I don't know. Uh, you tell me what you think. I found this interesting that it, it feels like the NBA said, no, enough is enough. We might finally have the opportunity to have these teams get off of our dollar and off of our support, and we're going to take the chance. I just found that interesting. I mean... Uh, I don't know. I I think it's interesting that the NBA came back and said, no, we're not going to continue to do this. We need a lot more money. And this will roll downhill. You should see, I would guess, a three times increase in salary for these players. Maybe a four times increase. I don't know. I'm going to be interested to see how the ratings for Caitlin Clark, etc. hold up past this year i am going to be interested to see how that goes you know we really enjoy watching her games as a family we do i can tell you my wife has said when does caitlin come back you know and for wnba basketball actually asking when do they come back 
uh, it's bizarre in this household. Let's just put it that way. Uh, CM Punk would say, hell froze over. Wow. Tell me what you think. Peace. I'm out. Till next time. Thanks for watching the show. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to tune in next time on Black and White Sports.